Minister of Finance Inklang Klanene has made his first public appearance since being reappointed last week. Nene addressed the meeting of the Federation of Unions of South Africa in Pretoria. Speaking to union members, the minister said that economic growth was forecasted at 1.5% for 2018 and would grow to 1.8% for 2019. Indeed, as a country, we are at a point where we need to look back and reflect on um, a number of things that has happened. Um, we've seen uh, the country you know, going in the direction that uh, some of us began to feel that uh, we are not uh, uh, serving the interests of the generations that will come after us. Amongst the issues addressed by the Minister was the tax collection shortfall at SARS as well as the controversial nuclear deal. Government has clearly stated that um, Indeed, nuclear remains at the moment on the plans of government as part of the energy mix, but um, that as we speak, uh, the country was very clear that the country will only implement this program on, um, at a pace and scale that it can afford. But um, the other part also, which was official government um, uh, uh, position, was that we currently are sitting at excess uh, electricity which means um, we must not move away from the existing plans. And we are sitting with the IPPs as we speak on renewable energy, some of them that are due to be signed quite, uh, quite soon, some of them that are already in operation and that have uh, assisted us in alleviating our energy challenge. So we therefore would not want to give an outright answer to say whether it will be implemented or not, but the fact of the matter is that at the current um, 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 moment, we actually are focusing on uh, both the traditional um, uh, generation of energy and uh, our renewable energy supply. The issue of SARS, we've seen also quite a number of things that um, are in the pipeline that need to be done in order to restore tax morality because some people are actually, we've also seen how tax morality has also deteriorated over, over, over time. When that happens, again, it is a sign of loss of confidence on the state when people begin to say why must we pay taxes when those when our taxes are spent in the reckless manner that we have seen in the past it is for that reason that we need to demonstrate to our people that we're spending money where it is supposed to be spent protecting our most vulnerable but we're also spending money where it is going to create jobs we're spending money also and investing in the productive productive capacity of the state the minister closed his speech by commending some of the law enforcement agencies who seem to be clamping down on state capture. He accused those accountable for state capture of stealing from the poor and said that state resources need to be spent in a responsible manner. Of course, um, Comrade Ngari Meng talks about uh, corruption in order to inspire confidence and I must uh, say you must have seen how um, some of the law enforcement agencies are actually beginning to actually really find their, their muscle in order to be able to do what they're supposed to do, which in the past we haven't seen. Those people, that we, we're getting people charged these days, we're getting investigations that are rolling out that we never thought that, we, that, that would be rolled out, and uh, there are no holy cows when it comes to that. So I have no doubt that um, with the mood that is sweeping the country now, um, you know, everyone that is involved in any form of corruption, if, um, you know, I, I'm not too sure whether we will ever even get to a point where we even consider amnesty because people must actually now face, face the consequences of the things that have happened in the, in the past, robbing the poor of their little resources that were aimed at, at assisting them. State capture and all of those things are things that are now receiving the attention of government in order to restore the confidence, uh, in order to, be, to make sure that no matter how little resources we have on the table, but if those resources are spent in a responsible manner, they are able to make a huge difference in our people's lives.